All right. Well, joining us now on the Virtually Speaking podcast is, is someone who is very, very uh, active in the VMware community, Nathan Bennett. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well, Pete. Thanks for having me on. Long yeah. time listener, first time caller. Well, right back at you, my friend, <laughs> with the IT Reality podcast. You guys do really good stuff. Thank you. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. You and Vince. And uh, yeah, I, I, was, uh, I, I learned some things from you guys from time to time recently. You guys had a good conversation about even coming to, to VMware Explorer. I thought that was really good. I'm glad you guys are back in it. <laughs> yeah, we took a little bit of a hiatus uh, for personal reasons, but we're we're glad to be together. We've got Richard Kenyon with us now, and we've got a good uh, we've got a good trio going. Yeah, it's really good. So Nathan, you uh, aside from podcasting, you're actually a partner with with VMware uh, from Sterling, yeah. right? Yeah, so I work for a company called Sterling, um, and we are a partner with VMware. And what we'd like to do is try to stay kind of in step with what VMware is doing. Right. And my area is around cloud, and so I deal with everything. You know, the public cloud is is out there. But I deal with also cloud adjacent as well as cloud app applications. So like modern applications, Tanzu, things like that. I touch all of those things. I, I'm rarely bored. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, because obviously cloud is such a high level topic. Yeah. Uh, and there's so many different versions of cloud and yeah. every customer has a different need or use case or concern about security or concern about lifecycle management. All There's so many things to consider. There's so many different applications that need different things, whether it's connecting to the cloud, whether it's only internal. So yeah, I would imagine that you stay pretty busy. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's never the same problem the same way. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I like it that way. I bet, I bet. So one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you today was uh, I heard you've been doing a lot with customers on uh, the holodeck, the, yeah. the utility, and I'd love to learn, for those that are not familiar with that, maybe yeah. you can give us the high level, uh, and then maybe we can see how you guys are taking advantage of that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll start high level. Holodeck yeah. uh, toolkit is, is available for, for anyone to use, even those in the community that, it, that want to use it. I think you know this whole thing really started with William Lamb. At least I'm going to I'm going to blame him for it. We always blame William. It's uh, fine. Sure, absolutely. Uh, when it comes to virtualized automation and automating kind of like a, a nested lab situation, that started around Tanzu and Project Pacific, and it kind of grew more and more as as time went by. And I think you know previously we saw he was able to build a nested VCF stack with with his code. And this is kind of like taking that a little bit to the next level where, hey, let's take this into where we can try to build it as a more, I wouldn't say professional, but more higher grade uh, version of what they're trying to build. And it's a full, what it is, is a full VCF stack. So you have the ability to play around with Cloud Builder, which a lot of people in the community, as well as partners, don't have immediate access to. Yeah. Um, and that's that's kind of a big need for not only just us as us as partners, but you know our PSO teams, our delivery teams, in order to like you know well, how do how do I actually use this? And I like to you know kind of extend that out, being a community guy, and say you know it's it's big for the community as well because they don't have that access very often. And now with things like the Mug Advantage, Bert, you've got those licenses with VCF to now you know play around with Cloud Builder. You basically go through a certain process to build the uh, the jump box that you're yeah. going to be getting into the Cloud Console is what they call it, um, and then you create the OBA for the Cloud Console that builds, and then after that builds onto uh, the spe specified hardware requirements, which right now. Uh, you just need a pretty beefy physical box. And you can build several different pods, they call it, which is basically a consolidated nested VCF cluster. And then you build a virtualized network um, or a virtualized router. And then at, from there, you run a, a ginormous power CLI script with a, with a menu that tells you what to input. And three hours, you've got VCF on it. I like that. So, so how exactly are you got your customers taking advantage of this? Yeah, so for our customers, you know, really Holodeck is, is started kind of as a, how do we teach our delivery teams how to how to how to do these things? But yeah. me as a guy that was, you know, into the ideas of developer relations, tech marketing, and things like that, I I, I really fall to the altar of the you know the the demo gods very often, and I wanted something that was easy to build, easy to tear down, and more importantly, stable. Every time you build it, it works, right? So I took this thing and I, I, I just ran with it. it. It was able to build, you know, since it's able to build NSX, I'll do NSX demonstrations with it and be able to show my customers, hey, this is how it works, and then have them even go to the point where I can give them access to log in, play around with it, break it. I don't care because at the end of the day, after it's after they're done with it and they've learned something from it, I, I just rebuild it. 
And yeah. that's the beauty of automation. That's why I fell into, in love with automation a long time ago. And you know, it just grew from there into, okay, well, let's give this to our customers in terms of a workshop and create like a hands-on lab situation. And even got to the point where we're actually having customers come in, consume that, that pod, and build production ready automation uh, applications for whatever they want to build, export that data out of that pod, and then test it in their in their environment, wow. and then bring it back in and, and reuse it and then test it back out. And so it's 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 extremely versatile in what it can do. And they've they've really built something that's very stable. Yeah, for that people sounds like a whole nother like way of making money for companies, a whole nother service is to take it. This is really exciting. So how do people learn more about this uh, utility and, and maybe get some of the details around some of the requirements? Yeah, so uh, it's it's very easy to just, you know, Google search Holodeck Toolkit and you'll be able to find it. Um, I believe it's in the uh, cloud platform uh, out there. Um, and you can basically find like a video recording on how to do it. It's got the step-by-step -step process. It has all the different pieces of how to basically build this up. And this is, by the way, this isn't, you're not building old versions of VCF. I believe it's updated to VCF 5 at this point. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can actually try the new versions as long as you have the licenses for it. That is the kind of the, the key piece is you have to have the licenses for VCF, NSX, vSAN, and whatever you're going to use. So for us, um, I even use Tanzu with this. Oh, wow, yeah. So it, it, it builds a consolidated VCF cluster with Tanzu enabled. They, they didn't even tell me that it had that when they, when they <laughs> showed it to me. And I, I, once I built that piece, like I used that as well. Um, and so once you go to that Holodeck website, you'll be able to find all of the resources there and you'll be able to follow basically the step-by-step -step instructions. And it's very intuitive to get started. Very nice, very nice. Well, Nathan, First of all, thanks for telling us all about Holodeck. Thanks for all you do, man, and thanks for all you do in the community. You know, it's, I, I, I really value the, the, the community in general, how everybody interacts, how everybody is. It's like one small family inside of this crazy world, and, uh, and you're a big part of that, man, so I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you, TP.